All right, here's a quick comparison on the standard Glock 43, the, the one that's been out for quite a while now, and the brand new G43X, and the long slide G48. Uh, the, basic, the basics of it is the G48 is roughly the length of a Glock 19, but it is single stack. So it is a 10 round single stack magazine that is a length of a 19. It's roughly the, the grip height of a 19, I believe as well. It's uh, you get a full firing grip on it. Um, it looks like they did a Gen 5 style base plate here with that slight uh, heel to it there. Uh, the one thing though is the mags are different and you cannot use the existing aftermarket mags like this ETS. I think this is a 12 round mag. It just, it's completely different. This, uh, you can see here, there's a lot of wiggle space in there. It's a, it's a wider magazine. If you hold up the, uh, the new mag to the old back to back, you can kind of see the, the difference in width there. Um, and then obviously this magazine is too wide to fit in the existing G43s, just no go. So completely independent magazines, but uh, it is what it is. You get 10 rounds, which again gives you that full firing grip versus the Glock 43 that at least with my hand size creates uh, a tucking pinky situation when you fire. The difference between the 43X and the 48 is mainly just the slide length. So if you hold them up together, you basically have the length of the slide. Same, same frames, um, they, they, they're pretty much interchangeable. The, the slide length and barrel length is the real key there. A new finish now, it's still a NPVD finish, but it's not black anymore. They went with a silver finish. Not really sure why they did that. Um, it kind of harkens to the Glock aftermarket. I think it makes it look like a stainless steel slide when, when it's not really, but uh, the fire control group, I believe is the same. Everybody I've asked at SHOT Show and everything said that the uh, connectors that are for the 43 and the, all the other stuff should work in it. I've not opened this up to confirm that myself, but if I decide to purchase this one right here, I will be kind of mimicking uh, my 43 set up here with the Vickers uh, controls, mag release and slide release and the Apex Tactical uh, trigger shoe and then I use a, a lone wolf connector and then I usually use night vision sights on them. Um, kind of just personal preference but that's my that's been my carry gun for quite a while now. Um, I really like it. I like the, the Apex trigger brakes, uh, feels comfortable. The factory triggers here obviously are just factory. Got the serrated trigger shoe, kind of a mushy take up, and then brake, and then let's see what the reset looks like. So not terrible, not great. It's a factory block. I don't know what you expect, um, just like every other one pretty much, but it's not too bad. It's a factory gun, so the beaver tail is pretty nice. Feels just like a, a Glock 43, but let's uh, let's let's shoot them and see what happens. All right, I've got the uh, 43X and the 48 here. I'm gonna shoot them. Uh, it's really cold out. I'm not wearing gloves, so we'll see how long I go without gloves. I'm gonna put them back on because my hands are red, as you can see. So I'm just shooting some of that federal black pack or you know the, the stuff that was on sale at black friday time this year 2018 um so we'll see how it goes uh it, it feels fantastic in the in the hand i mean you get that full firing grip you get that full wrap around it, it just feels fantastic in the hand I, I don't know how else to explain it i'm not a I'll, i'm not really sold on the short slide we'll see but uh let's just give it a go and see what happens and I got uh, some sort of failure there. Let's see. 
Didn't cook that round out as on the last round going in. Let's see what happens on the next gun. Hopefully that doesn't that trend doesn't continue. This is the 48. Um, I think this one feels more balanced in the hands. I mean, it literally just feels like a Glock 19 fin. So it's a very svelte, uh, narrow gun, but it's got that the front to back grip and just the grip just feels great. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but let's see. It feels like it balances a little better with the longer slide. <laughs> It is very cold. I, I think the recoil obviously feels less on this because it does, you know, have a little more mass going out there, but let's just see. It definitely needs that apex trigger in it. This, uh, the apex that I have on my Glock 43 carry gun, uh, it doesn't sting my finger. It's really cold out, so my hands are more sensitive than they otherwise would be, but uh, the, the safety blade on the trigger uh, kind of is, is stinging my finger under firing. But at least it has been reliable so far. And I don't have any more mags loaded at the moment, so I'll just kind of suffice to say that I'm going to do a few more mags. I'll come back uh, in another clip after I reload everything. Uh, so far, I like the 48 better. Uh, does not fit holsters, obviously, for the 43, just because they're, it's uh, too long, obviously. Got too much barrel length there. The 43X, on the other hand, should, but let's just double check. Yeah, that's just fine. Uh, so the 43X fits this, uh, this here is a Bravo uh, concealment um, inside the waistband holster that I have in my 43. And uh, that seems to work just fine. So just it's the same length of a 43, a standard 43 and a 43X, basically same height, just a different grip length. Uh, there's your grip length. So let me load up some mags. We'll come back and shoot them again. All right, I'm all loaded back up and I am ready to test fire again. I wanna put some gloves on this time because it's really cold. It's the Victos Operatus gloves. They're not really winter gloves. They're more kind of shooting gloves. They're a thinner, thinner glove, but I think they help with the, with the slap of the gun on the cold hands. Um, yeah, so I've got three mags for the 43X, three mags for the 48, and I've got one mag for the G43, just to show kind of in comparison, and uh, maybe I can gain an opinion after that. So even with the gloves, it seems pretty comfortable grip. Uh, it does have forward cocking serrations. I, I don't really use them so much. I'm sure people do, but um, it's just not my style so much. Definitely needs a sight upgrade. This gun has uh, just the factory plastic sights on it. And to be honest, I, I don't care for those sights at all. So um, there's a lot of options out there. I believe the standard 43 sights are the, st the same. I'm not sure on the 48 if the longer sight radius requires a different length. I'm doubtful because on the standard nine millimeter Glocks, the 34 and the, the 17 use the same length and that's, that's about the length difference there. So let's just try the 43 again. That's another uh, air, uh, failure there. And we just got a double feed. So I wonder what's going on with this gun. I thought it might have been a fluke there, but let's see what happens. Take that one out. Brand new gun, no lube, no nothing, just right out of the box, no changes, no nothing. So we'll see what happens here. So that mag finished fine. I'm gonna separate that mag just to make sure that's not a proper mag already. Um, but we'll go from there. Not 
and that's the 43X again. Now we'll move on to the 48. Kind of try it from the front cackling serrations there to see if it feels any different. nearly as much. Um, not that the 43X is bad by any means, but it does feel different. Um, better or worse, uh, who knows, but it doesn't feel the same. ETS 12 round mag here and my standard Glock 43 carry gun. Just uh, compare and contrast. Um, obviously the grip is a little diff different there, but that's what you get for six rounds. <laughs> Coil, but this gun was or this mag was already preloaded with some different ammo. The, these two guns had the same ammo in them, so maybe just a, a ammo difference. But um, I don't know. I still like my 43. If I were tempted by either of them, I'd probably be the 48. So that's my quick overview of the guns. Uh, take it for what it's worth. <laughs>